Welcome back to another episode of Dialing In for our Line 6 Helix. This is another Helix HX Stomp Firmware 3.7 version, and today I'm going to be taking a look at yet another one of the new amps that we received in the new firmware, and this is going to be, again, one of those new Line 6 originals. So many great ones that we received in this update uh, that they've ported over from the Catalyst line of amps, and today we're going to be looking at the Line 6 original voltage amp which with these amps, they've kind of taken classic amp designs, maybe Voxy or Marshall style, and taken kind of maybe the best of those amps and maybe gotten rid of some of the unwanted, maybe I'll put that in air quotes, qualities of those amps and just made an original amp that sounds really great. And I've got to say the Line 6 Voltage amp is truly incredible. It is kind of, I would say more of a Marshall based amp, maybe something in the plexi range of amplifiers, I would say tonally, but with some cool little twists. And again, like I mentioned, maybe with some of the warts that come along with that original amp kind of taken care of. So today we're going to take a look at that. I'm going to have a single snapshot preset available, link below at my website. Feel free to grab that and mess around with it. I hope you enjoy the sound. It's going to be kind of a pushed edge of breakup style tone that I've been enjoying a lot. I also have my full blown line six marketplace a voltage ultimate preset available i will have the link to that below it's also included in the full firmware 3.7 bundle where you get a whole bunch of the 3.7 amp models in some presets all together and i really have been enjoying these a lot later in the video i will let you hear the video demo for the full-blown marketplace voltage ultimate preset so you can hear what the different snapshots from that sound like in a full production over a rhythm section i hope you enjoy that without further ado let's head right over over to HX Edit and take a look and see what's going on with this amp and how it sounds on this single snapshot preset. All right, so here we are over in HX Edit. I have my very typical little setup that I start all my basic presets off with. The Full Bone Line 6 Marketplace preset, remember, is going to be a multi snapshot preset with a full array of effects. It's going to look quite different than this. This is just going to be the basic sort of bare bones, stripped back version of it. For those who follow my channel, you know the little template that I work off of, what I'm starting starting with over here on the end is my LA Studio Comp. Peak reduction of five, gain of five, mix 100%. Just so it's maybe, on this one, I maybe went just a tiny bit heavier uh, compression, maybe two and a half, three dB of gain reduction. That's also gonna be dependent on the guitar you're playing. The, uh, you know, the more signal that you hit the front of the compressor with, uh, the more compression you're going to get. So if you're hitting it with more signal with a higher output pickup, it will have some more gain reduction. You may have to find, if you find it too heavy handed, to just bring this peak reduction down to get it to where you like what it's doing but for my guitars that I was using with this I set it here and it gave me what I wanted coming over to the parametric EQ again not being used for anything other than the low and high cut again I know I repeat this in every video but it seems like no matter how many times I repeat it I still get the same question a lot uh, folks will ask well why if you're not using it, are you putting a parametric EQ it's not a big hit to the DSP so I like to have it there just in case in a particular situation in a mix or live if I have to make a little EQ tweak it's there I don't have to rejig all of the blocks around but I do have the low cut at 100 hertz high cut at 10 kilohertz I decided to go with the dynamic plate reverb here 1.4 seconds you can see the settings mix at 30 percent it just gave a nice ambience to the sound uh, my low and high shelf very typical uh, very subtle in this case I always use the low and high frequencies both set at 650 hertz as my starting point there are times where I will vary away from that if I if need be or if I find the situation calls for but in this situation I just put a tiny little bit of polish on this amplifier by cutting all the frequencies below 650 by 1 dB and boosting all the frequencies above 650 by 1 dB and again the reason I like to have this block in every preset even if I'm not using it is again if I have to make a quick on the fly adjustment these settings on a low and high shelf give me a very quick way to be able to add some clarity or cut some mud or control the low end or add some fullness I can do a lot of things here with this low and high shelf now a lot of folks will ask me too why don't you just use the tilt EQ tilt EQ doesn't give me the same sort of control because if I am say cutting the lows well the highs get boosted uh, around that center point and vice versa so this gives me me better control I don't have to affect the highs if I want to just control the lows and vice versa so really really useful tool here the cab I chose was the 412 greenback 25 a real favorite of mine uh, the mic is a 160 ribbon on the cap edge one inch back no angle no low and high cuts because I had them over here I just really liked what this was doing 
Over to the amp. We have the channel one drive at five, bass at 5.7, mid at five, treble at 5.5, presence at six, channel volume at 6.7. The boost was off in this case. We will take a look at what that boost does. Sag at five, hum was on, bias and bias X both at five. So let's do this. Let's turn off all of our sweeteners except our reverb. And we'll just go with my settings that I decided on here, uh, just as is going into a little reverb and we'll hear what these sound like. I'm playing my Gibson SG today and here is the tone we have. I mean, really nothing wrong with that. What a beautiful, beautiful tone. But let's sort of see the range of what this amp can do. Well, remember we have our drive on five, but let's kind of go as low as we can here. Very nice stuff. Uh, let's go all the way up to the other extreme. Really beautiful, usable tones in this. Very, very nice stuff. We'll come back to where I had it set at five. Now we also have this boost function which kind of reacts different on all these original amps. So without the boost on, if we want to hit the front of that amp a little harder without affecting the drive, let's go to the other extreme. Could have it set for as little or as much as we want. And again, keep in mind, we can apply this to a foot switch, right? I could, I could assign that there, come over to my bypass controller, assign and set minimums and maximums. You know, I could say maybe minimum off. And then let's say I like it when it comes up to somewhere around the midpoint. Now, when I hit that foot switch, you're gonna notice that. I'm going to be able to foot switch that to whatever range I want it to be at. And we could set that wherever we want. We could have the minimum, you know, somewhere around there and have it go between those two positions. <laughs> Very, very cool stuff. I'm gonna just bring that back to where I had it for my preset here. Okay, so now we know what that amp is capable of, all the way from clean, all the way up to some beautiful overdriven tones. Really, really nice stuff. Let's start applying the sweeteners I had in there. I'm gonna bring the LA Studio comp in. It's gonna sound like this with that. Again, without it. Very, very subtle. I still get people say, oh, aren't you gonna destroy your reverb and mess everything up? You're gonna be squashing the sound so much, but it's not set in that way. A compressor is not always going to do the same thing. A lot of it has to do with the way we set it up. I like what that does right there in that sweet spot. Now I'm gonna bring in my low and high cuts, very subtle. All of these things are gonna be very subtle, but added together. Hopefully they just give a little bit of beautiful polish in a mix, whether you're in the studio or live. Thank you. 
very responsive amps. If I'm playing with my fingers or softly, cleans up nicely. So I was liking what that's doing. Now I'm going to bring the very subtle little low and high shelf in here. What you're looking to listen for here is just a little bit less mud, and I mean a little bit and a little more clarity. So a little bit controlled in the bottom end and a little more sparkle, let's say. Also designed to work really well with different pickup positions. Go to the neck pickup. middle position. So there you have it. There is the tone. What a beautiful amp model. Every time I mess around with one of these new Line 6 Originals that we've received from the Catalyst line of amps, I just fall in love with it. They're such beautiful, usable amps. Kind of cool that they're not necessarily trying to copy anything in particular. So go grab that preset below if you liked what you heard. That's available at a link below at my website. I hope you enjoy it. But I'd like to let you hear the entire demo video for my full Line 6 Marketplace Voltage Ultimate preset. Let you hear what the various snapshots with all the effects and sweeteners added into that preset sound like when used over a full rhythm section and that sounds like this. <laughs> What do you guys think? I hope you enjoyed that again. At the link below is the free preset at my website. Grab that. I hope you enjoy it. If you like what you hear and you want to help support the channel, you can grab the full-blown Line 6 Marketplace preset over at the Line 6 Marketplace. It's called the Voltage Ultimate preset. It's also part of the firmware 3.7 bundle where you can get a discount on most of the amps from the update all bundled together. The product page lists all the amps that are in that particular bundle and I have that link below as well. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. I really do appreciate you sharing your time with me. Please like the video, share it with anybody you think we get some or enjoyment out of watching it. Also, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the little bell notification to get notified when I put new content out. I'll be back really soon with some more. Thank you guys again so, so much for tuning in. Ciao for now.